Good day to you. This is uh, November 20th, 2023, and I am Pastor Neil Wemus, and this is uh, Life Beneath the Water Tower here at St. Paul Luther Church in Ida Grove. Uh, sorry, did not get around to recording. It was a very, very busy week last week. And today I'm coming off of a pretty hectic weekend. Uh, we took seven high schoolers to the Iowa District West Senior High Youth Gathering in Des Moines at the Holiday Inn right across from the airport. Um, and there's about close to 300 high schoolers from the western, mostly from the western half of the state of Iowa. And I thought it was, you know, a good weekend for the kids. Uh, they learned a lot about the importance of sharing their story, more specifically their faith story, and telling people about their faith. And so that's why I was not here this week, this weekend. And when I got back, we had a there was a friends get friends giving uh, for our middle school youth, and so it was a very busy three days. Um, but here's some things, just kind of little going backwards this past weekend. Uh, is For those of you who are here, you are aware we had Pastor Steve Schultz. And he is the pastor, um, the, assisting, the assistant at uh, Mission Central, uh, just outside of, um, outside of Mapleton. And here is, and if you were here, we did do... Uh, a little bit of fundraising. So first off, here is the Mission Central website. If you want to see it. So Mission Central. I'll eventually get there. Okay, missioncentral.us. This is their website. This is what Mission Central looks like. Uh, and we did do a special offering. Uh, and so the offering is going to go to Brian and Kia Payne uh, from Tanzania of Tanzania. And they are... So here's a little bit about them. You could kind of look it up. MissionCentral.us dash pain. Uh, normally we'd send our offerings to uh, to Shara and Shara, and we we still do regularly. But it was kind of encouraged because this is a brand new missionaries, and they could really use the support. And it's kind of in the same area of the world. So um, I hopefully for those who were here. You got some pretty good information on Mission Central. And in case you do not know, our congregation, our youth, have most of them have been to Mission Central. They visited them. And in fact, here, here's a little a swing of pictures. So this is the first class I brought to Mission Central. And here's another, 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 another. And here's the most recent one. And we won't be bringing a, cl a group this year. Uh, because of, uh, we're not going to bring a group this year because I'm, because the seventh grader, the current eighth graders have already been there and I didn't want to double up or anything. And so instead I'm going to have, we're going to wait until next year and the seventh, next year's eighth graders, the next year's seventh graders will get to go to gather. And, but this year we're going to go to mission, we're going to work at, go to orphan grain train, hopefully. Uh, but the idea is to get our kids thinking about missions, thinking about service and things like that. Uh, so, so yeah, we've, you know, we sent quite a few kids to there at this point. Six groups um, during the course of time having visited there. And I encourage you uh, to go on to their calendar. And so, you know, I had their website up. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. But if you go to the calendar right here, you can see a list of when some of the missionaries are coming up. Or the hall, there's a hallway here in the church. Uh, we have a practice of posting up when missionaries are going to come. And so I encourage you to go look, see when a missionary is going to come, and go be there when that happens. And listen to their story and uh, learn about what they're doing. The Sharp family, for example, December 30th of 2023 is going to be in Uruguay. Uh, or for not being Uruguay, from Uruguay, will be there. And that'd be kind of a good one to f come and visit because they're actually from Denison. And we as we pastors of the Mapleton and Denison circuit have been supporting them for many years. So that would be a great way to um, kind of get to visit, visit Mission Central and also hear from the missionary family. Uh, also this week, 
Uh, this week, in case you did not know, haven't heard the rumor, uh, it is Thanksgiving. And because it's Thanksgiving, we are going to be having our Thanksgiving Eve service on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Uh, we do not have a co- midweek, so we don't have the catechism classes. Uh, there's not going to be any Wednesday morning Bible study. Uh, no youth group this week either. Uh, youth group will be next week instead. But we are going to have this Thanksgiving Eve service. And there's going to be a pie social following worship hosted by the elders of our congregation. You are encouraged and welcome uh, to attend. Another thing that's going on in our congregation this week um, is that, let's see here, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, is that there's going to be a bake sale tomorrow. Tomorrow, November, tomorrow, Tuesday, November 21st, beginning at 8.30 a.m. It's at the gathering place. So maybe you're working or whatever, and you decide, you know, I want to get some goodies or whatever. Go there, and you'll, the money that is raised will go to support missions and St. Paul uh, youth group. So uh, our youth group of our congregation, supporting them so they can continue to go on these things and these experiences like gatherings, conferences, conventions, whatever, where they learn and grow in their faith. And so, um, so yeah, there's those are some of the things that are going on this week. There's a lot going on. And then uh, this coming Sunday, it's going to be Christ the King Sunday, and that's going to be the focus of the weekend. It's going to be kind of a fun service. It's going to be a special service that I kind of put together and kind of tried to craft. It's going to, I'm going to use kind of the church year and a sort of a hymn sing to teach about Christ the King. And so I hope you're able to make it this Sunday for that. So blessings to you on this week. And have a blessed Thanksgiving. And as you enjoy the meal time with family and stuff, all that, rejoice and be glad that you have your family. If you are with your family, rejoice and be glad that you do. Um, For those who do not um, have families, hopefully we can be there for them. And ultimately, above all, rejoice and be glad that yours is the kingdom of God, bought and won for you by the blood of Jesus. Happy Thanksgiving.